Call Deputy Pierce Doherty. Deputy, it's five minutes. Yes, can call you. Um, all right. A new to Sinn Féin, Chispin Kennedy, actor recent Sandel, because Magic Flay and Rune Shaw. I guess Carwer Brenchar, you know, could you hardly rubbish Shaw? Actually, I'm on a big or one for the girl and and Tehan Shaw. We are here to hear our and the here and Tehu Shaw. Don Arlar, a tour taki art and major we la regain. Marshin and Rod to hear. I guess Ari Ella Tanish and Shaw's and Realtors. I guess Chakti Della and Nesta Marfuart of Fourteen Realtors. I guess couple of me you hear. For do the Nishervishi Kia Hanyat's the can. Antra tuhe se na shervishi aharlana a hanyat morateshet agus fiosa harar na shervishi ne aktesha kente agus inta saler nesh go on the galston ishi ne breshte breshte agutse breshte gantisha breshte eglokt eglokt chapti dela fin the gael agus partin lock debre galston nesi a hogshiv la fwalish das na kaihersh in the wajshiv nesi in you it is very clear minister and I don't have to repeat the words that have been echoed in this chamber earlier on today and and again this evening. Evening, that this government has broken the promises to, to the electorate out there, broken the promises to people in very vulnerable areas who are depending on their health services across this state, from, from Navan to Drogheda, um, from Ross Common to Leitrim, and, and areas in my own constituency in Donegal. Not only have you uh, had the nod and the wink to the constituents during the election campaign that you would ensure that the services would, were maintained, but you went further than that there. Indeed, in relation to my own constituency and the hospital that affects part of my own constituency, Sligo, one of your TDs went as far as to say that he would resign. He would resign from government if, if, if the re restoration of cancer services at Sligo General Hospital were not uh, restored within 100 days. Minister, I'm sure that you're disappointed at the lack of honesty of that TD, the lack of, uh, of, of, of honesty to the electorate, the people who elected him, who believed that by electing him to this, to this chamber, by, be, uh, believed who, by electing him to, uh, to this government, that they, he would stand up and defend the rights of cancer patients across the North West constituency. He has failed just as your government is failing to deliver the services, the health services that you have pledged to the people across this state. No, this hasn't been an issue that has developed with this government. It's been an issue, an issue, yes, that you have inherited from the previous government. We have seen the previous government run down the health services right across throughout many, many years, and Kevin O'Callaghan has referred to it there when he continually talked about the template that would be used across the state in terms of downgrading of hospitals, which was the template used in Monaghan General Hospital. If there was ever a time when I wished Kevin O'Callaghan was not correct, it was that. But we are seeing that transpire. We've seen over recent years with the Fianna Fáil, Green and PD government and now unfortunately we're seeing you hit the nail in the coffin of health service right throughout this state with the Fianna Gael and Labour government. Minister, there's a crisis brewing. The crisis is, is brewing and the 11th of July is the date for the NCHD doctors that will not be available to provide adequate cover for many of our hospitals. No, the bond, fuck. You, you have yet to tell us which of those hospitals will be affected. Where are the rural hospitals that will be affected? We understand in Donegal that Letterkenny General Hospital might not be one of them that will be affected on the 11th of July, but given the fact that 67 of the NHDs are actually locums and that those posts will disappear in the no number of weeks after that there, there is a serious threat. There is a serious threat to the downgrading of Letterkenny General Hospital and particularly the fact that the accident and emergency may not be able to retain open after August and September. Minister, in questioning and answering questions by uh, Deputy Cleveland O'Callaghan last week, you said that the, N, uh, the junior doctors would be directed to regional hospitals. I am asking you to give clarification to the patients across the North West, to give patients across this state which hospitals will retain its services. Minister, you told us. You told the people that the money will follow the patients. It is very clear from this government that the only money, uh, that the only people that the money is following is the bondholders. Last week, you issued 12 million euro of bonds. To, uh, it's paid out 12 million euro of unguaranteed debt of bondholders. Ne tomorrow, another 10 million. If we take Letterkenny General Hospital, its debt is about six to eight million. If we look at the bond that you're going to, uh, 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 that are, will mature on the 2nd of November. Three quarters of a billion. It is a one percent of the debt the Letterkenny General Hospital has. But no, you are prioritising the bondholders over the, uh, the safety Sorry, and health Deputy, of patients. I'll so ask Deputy uh, Doherty to conclude, please. It's over time. 
I'll, I'll, I'll conclude. I'll conclude now. Thank you very much, Deputy. Now